hello everyone welcome back to my channel so i'm making this video after a very long time and uh, i just wanted to give you few updates so as you have already seen in the thumbnail that uh, and most of you know that uh, i got my visa stamped and i started making this video uh, just to help others but unfortunately i was not able to uh, you know travel to mexico so i'll tell you the full re uh, tell you the reason why uh, that happened to me and uh, apart from that uh, there are few updates that i am going to make in this video so before i start uh, before i start this video i'd like to uh, congratulate all of them who uh, who got help from uh, either my channel or from that group and a lot of them uh, have uh, came back to me and uh, over, over on uh, instagram and uh, telegram and they told me how the channel and also uh, that uh, how my youtube channel and the telegram channel uh, that mexico visa discussion channel helped them and there are so many people in that group who are so good and uh, they help uh, new people with their query and with a lot of stuff uh, with whatever they have doubts regarding uh, this mexico visa so if you if you are someone who has already been to mexico so i'd like to uh, request you to help others and uh, since i couldn't go to mexico my main my mo main motto behind creating this channel was that i'll uh, i'll try to make videos on all the steps right after the visa gets stamped what happens what kind of preparation you do so uh, so the thing is i have made videos still uh, that preparation stuff so my last video is on that only like what kind of preparation what kind of things you need to pack because till that time i was uh, i didn't knew or i didn't know that uh, i won't be able to travel so after that i will need uh, after to make videos after that i mean uh, how do you travel to mexico and uh, once you reach there how do you uh, find accommodation what are the things which you need to keep in mind when you reach there because it's a new country there are you know a lot of diff uh, there is a lot of difference between india and that country so what are the things you need to keep in mind uh, things like that so i want to make videos on that also so for that i would like i need help from people uh, who has already who are already there in mexico so if you are someone who would like to help other you can reach me out on instagram or telegram or you can just comment below this video that yes uh, just and i'll uh, contact you uh, in uh, over any of the channel so that we can collaborate and make the video and help uh, others also uh, sorry for that background noise i think it's the thunder now uh now yes the main reason why i couldn't travel to mexico so as you know my visa was uh was a sponsored visa by my company the company for which i was working previously so the thing is uh, uh my company promised me to send me to on site or rather uh, mexico uh for work purpose and uh I I resigned at my previous company and uh, they promised me that they will send me to Mexico and uh, so so you just withdraw your resignation so I did that so and uh, this it was a very hectic process first to get uh, the appointment itself so once I got the appointment at that time there were not many videos uh, you know explaining the process there in YouTube but uh, luckily by some uh by i don't remember how but i got to know about that telegram group and i joined that and there after discussion and uh, people help me there and finally i was able to uh, get the appointment and my visa got stamped uh, i was i d gave the interview and i have shared my interview experience also in that video so it got stamped and uh, and then yes i was ready i was doing all the planning in fact i did a lot of shopping also uh, because i thought i'll be traveling to mexico in coming 3 months but 
वंस वंस आई इट गॉट स्टैंड लास्ट ईयर इन जनवरी ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ एग्जैक्टली ऑलमोस्ट वन ईयर बैक आई गॉट माई वीजा स्टैंड एंड आफ्टर वन और टू मंथ्स वेन आई चेक बैक विद द प्रोजेक्ट दे सेट दैट करेंटली दे डोंट हैव एनी रिक्वायरमेंट देर एंड दे विल बट दे आर यू नो लुकिंग फॉर अदर ऑप्शन सो दैट आई कुड बी सेंट टू मैक्सिको फ्रॉम सम अदर प्रोजेक्ट नाउ द थिंग इज सी इफ इफ यू आर ऑल्सो सम वन इफ यू आर ऑल्सो इन माई केस I'll I'll give you some tips like uh, how you can identify that whether this could be your story also or it could happen to you also how you can identify that because once uh, so what I did finally okay coming back continuing to my story uh, what happened uh, when I understood that okay now I won't be able to travel so I finally again resigned from my company and uh, I switched to a company I got very good hike there. and uh, in my new company which is currently in gurgaon i i am from kolkata basically but currently i am in gurgaon staying uh, here and i switched my uh, i switched my uh, role also i mean my uh, technology also actually i switched from qa to uh, ba in fact i was working as a ba also uh, in my previous company but uh, that was for a uh, small span of time so finally i switched to ba and i am very happy that i uh, took that decision and i didn't wait uh, for um, the company because they were telling that they are looking for it but i knew that it won't happen and i was just wasting my time so point number 1 so uh, can this happen to you yes it could happen to you because after uh, when i uh, switched when i resigned i joined a joined an app called fishbowl and there uh, i i learned that this happened to a lot of people not only for, for my company there were many service based company who were saying that yes you will be sent to on site but uh, ultimately uh, they were not once they were uh, taking their resignation back secondly i know a lot of people who have been promised and have gone to uh, you know on site so uh, technically i have not done any research on that but yes there are cases where they have been promised and they couldn't go and there are cases there where they have been promised and they have uh, been sent to uh, you know on site now few things if you are someone from it background and in such position so few things which you need to keep in mind uh, first thing is that if your project is us based project and if you are being sent to mexico or any southern america or you know uh, uh, those kind of country uh, as near shore so then yes there are chances that you will get project but suppose if your project is if you are working on a japanese uh, project and if they are telling you that you will be sent to mexico or that time so the time difference is huge so that makes no sense now second thing is that if you are working in uh, if you are working in a uh, us based project you know north america project and if you are promised so you just you know take some feedback from your seniors or who have been there in that position uh, who have gone to on site who or who are there in that project since very long so you can check with them and uh, it's a very it's it's really a wise decision to take that thing in written because i didn't took anything in written from them i didn't ask them for any such mail confirmation that uh, uh, yes you will be sent to on site uh, we will be sending you because i thought they are already they have processed everything uh, and everything uh, and the the fun fact is that when i was in my uh, when i was i was serving my notice period then everything was raised but ultimately after few uh, few uh, you know steps i was told to take my resignation back otherwise they couldn't pro- proceed so i thought okay everything is going fine uh, and i'll get this on site second thing was that uh, i i have family i am married i have two kids so what i what i calculated is if you go to mexico or any such kind of uh, on site in these kind of countries means uh, if your on site is not uh, 
uh, US based or you, it's not of Europe or UK or any such country and if you are going to countries like these which are like developing country or th uh, like Brazil or you know uh, these days they are sending on site to South Africa or places like that so you won't be able to say much okay the quality of life is also not that good so what I understood is if I go to on site with my family and if I if I bring my family there take my family there after say six months or one year whatever uh, I won't be able to say much so that will make no difference but yes there are chances that from there you can apply for the US visa but again that depends if there is a requirement in project so finally I decided okay uh, bec either and either way I'm not I was not getting chance or also to go to Mexico so I decided I'll switch and I switch my company so this was the whole story hope that makes makes sense and if you have any query related to that uh, or any if you if you are in such situation so you can comment or you can reach out to me on Instagram my Instagram handle is also the same it's INCRDBL INDIAN uh, and yes I would also request you to subscribe to my channel and if you have listened so much uh, if you are someone who is applying for tourist visa so I have a, a important announcement uh, don't practice a lot in this uh, as mentioned in this video because nowadays what they are saying they are blocking the ID if you are practicing much so stop practicing and uh, you just watch the video and learn the process and be active in that group in that telegram group so that whenever the slot is open uh, you will be able to apply B uh, last week uh, last or last week I heard that the slot opened from 8 30 p.m. in the evening and it was open till 10 p.m. and these it's very rare that it uh, gets open for such a long time but yes it uh, did happen and if you have any query you just reach out me uh, reach out to me on Instagram or telegram I'll, I'm more than happy to help you guys and yes please subscribe and uh, yes uh, leave any comment if you have thank you